Tonight, will be with us as our virtual audience are some of our brethren from the MCGI or the Members Church of God International Kirino Chapter. And our representative, Brother Luis Nolasco, is with them from Burgis Kirino. Brother Luis, good evening to you there. Kabarugis Kirino. Yes, Kuya. We thank God exceedingly, and here in Kirino province, we are taking part in the pro uh, activity of MCGI. Tonight, with us are our brethren in Kabarugis, Kirino, and some of our brethren from Isabela. And we are thanking God exceedingly, Kuya, back to you. Thank you so much, Brother Luis, and to all the brethren in Kirino province. They will be with us in reaching out to our fellow men, especially those who are in the virtual audience, and all our brethren in MCGI in different parts of the world who are currently monitoring us. As we continue to reach our fellow men, which we can share with um, the kindness and the love of the Lord God through the members of the Church of God International. We continue to invite you in our upcoming opening of our Mass Indoctrination, which is the study of the doctrines of our Lord Jesus Christ. This coming January 2, we will again start a series of study of our Mass Indoctrination, and that will start 7 p.m., January 2, 2023, Monday, and that's Philippine Standard Time for 7 p.m. That is also being translated in different international languages, 20 international languages wherein you can listen and watch our mass indoctrination. We also translate to eight local languages that you can choose from, whichever will suit and will be more comfortable as you are listening to the doctrines and you'll understand more. Now, when we are sad or crying, we really uh, do cry and sometimes we cry as well because of joy. What is uh, the part that tears do in our lives and what does the Holy Scripture speak with regard to this? Ang pag -iyak ay isang common human action. Crying is a common human action and it can be triggered by many different emotions. But why does man cry? Research has found that in addition to being self-soothing, um, emotional tears bring out oxytocin and endorphins. These chemicals relieve a person and can remove physical and emotional pain. There are three kinds of tears from our eyes. The basal tears are the, those that lubricate the and nourish and protect your cornea and your eyes the whole day. Even if you do not notice, if you blink your eye, it is brought uh, equally on your eyes to improve your vision and washing away germs to keep your eyes healthy and without infection. And there's reflex tears. These are the tears that result from external stimuli like uh, cutting onions. It uh, washes harmful ir irritants like smokes and other particles. More, uh, most of them are water. It could mix um, tears more than the basal tears and contains substances such as antibodies to help fight the germs. And then we have the emotional tears. One theory why we cry because of emotion is to, to release stress through tears to help um, relieve your body. Emotional tears. Uh, maybe because of too much joy, anger, grief, or mourning, and physical pain. 
Uh, in this way, crying can promote uh, physical being. Sometimes because of too much fear, you cry, and this may help to restore emotional balance. Be people who cry from happiness, it will help you recover from grief and grieving. And crying is important in times of mourning. It helps for you to accept the loss of a loved one. So it's fine to cry. It may be beneficial for you. If you feel that you need to cry, do not prevent it. Tears are normal. It's a healthy way to express emotion. But what does the Bible say with regard to crying? You know, crying, that comes automatically because the heart feels. And what moves to uh, cry are two things. One is the sadness that you feel, you know, uh, problems, uh, difficult things that people experience, like, for example, pain, heartaches, you know, problems in the mind, heaviness in the mind, that moves you to tears. Some are um, into tears also because of joy. This is what we call, or what we call the tear duct, or where tears come out. Uh, crying or tears is a natural process. If you are too uh, disappointed, you are too angry, your body produces adrenaline. And uh, there becomes, uh, the, the body produces toxin. And one way to release the toxin is to get out through crying or tears through our tear ducts. This, this is the information. When you cry, Please read it. Tears come out of the tear glands under your eyelids and drain through the tear ducts that empty into your nose. Tears mix with mucus there and your nose runs. That happens if you cry. Tears come out from the tear uh, uh, from the tear ducts, ducts and empties in your nose. There, and your nose runs. Kaya pati sipon, ano, uh, magkasama yun. Ito, ayon sa science. So it goes with the mucus. Now, according to science, this brings out toxins that the body produces when you are angry, when you are um too stressed or too sad that could be the reason why we cry sometimes now you know brother the lord jesus christ when he was having a hard time uh he, he cries when he was praying let's hear read that in 5 7 of hebrews who in the days of his flesh, when he had offered up prayers and supplications with strong crying and tears unto him that was able to save him from death and was heard in that he feared. So the Lord Jesus, he was crying when he was praying and the father listens to him because of his holy fear verse 8 though he were a son yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered because of his sufferings even though he's a son he learned to uh, obey and uh, he was crying and uh, because his uh, trust is in the Father we should do the same because we trust that, that the Father is the one who can rescue us and there are instances that since you feel that you are 
um, from your sin, you're repenting from your sin, while you are praying you felt injustice in your life, that's not evil. In fact, uh, every tear from your eye in 57, 56, 8 of Psalms, Thou tellest my wanderings, put thou my tears into thy bottle. Are they not in thy book? The psalmist says, Put thou my tears into thy bottle. Are they not in thy book? It was written in the book of God. Every tear that comes out from your eyes of, of his servant, if he is uh, oppressed, if um, he suffered injustice, every teardrop is being placed by God in his bottle. It means that uh, he is writing it in his book. Christ himself cried. The apostles cried as well when they pray. It is written, according to St. Paul, in chapter 20, verse 31 of the book of Acts. Therefore watch and remember that by the space of three years, I cease not to warn everyone night and day with tears. So with tears. So crying is not evil, it's in the Bible. Many different issues of life and many different things that have something to do with our uh, faith, spirituality, and how we can uh, fit our lives in accordance with the words and righteousness of God that we can also watch in our programs via UNTV and also in our MCGI channel. We have many different uh, discussions of the righteousness in the Bible that you can watch and under which we also have sub-channels that you can visit. Please like, share, and subscribe. And you can watch as well even the Brother Eli channel and other matters that we can uh, benefit from the doctrines that are being spoken by the Holy Scriptures. And also, we are uh, inviting you once again on January 2 as we conduct once again the study of um, the doctrines of our Lord Jesus Christ. May you... Uh, respond to our request now what the bible says with regard to love of god what is one of the primary doctrines of the holy scriptures in 22 verse 37 of matthew jesus said unto him thou shalt love the lord thy god with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind this is the first and great commandment and the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Obedience to the law of God, showing love to him. As John said in his writings in chapter 5, verse 3, This is love of God, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. But what could be the reason why it is important that we obey God, love God, and fear Him? We also ask our fellow men what is their perspective with regard to this. And let's watch What's, what the Bible says on this matter. Let's watch this. Why is it important for us to fear God and obey Him? Kaya nga po ipinasulat na ng Panginoong Diyos yung kanyang mga kautosan sa Biblia 
God had his commandments written, well, uh, others become unfortunate. Well, that will make us perish. We can die early. I will go to hell. So that we'll live peacefully. Of course, we need to obey God instead of transgressing all His laws. That will make us perish. Our life will be peaceful. We will have peace in living. And of course, we will be safe from calamities, serious illnesses, because that will make our life perish. We may die early or suffer from vices. We need to fear God because if not, we will go to hell. We need to obey God to, ob to obtain eternal life. Our lives chaotic without direction, then we need to follow God. So there will be direction in our lives. So you'll have a future. Otherwise, if you don't fear God, you do not know what you can do. You have no direction in life. Well, He's the one who created the earth and gave us our lives. If we don't obey Him, it's a big sin before God that we are not doing the right things. We obey Him and His commandments so that for our own good, well, because He is Almighty, and therefore we should fear God, because He's the one who created us. Well, others say you will become unfortunate if you don't go to church. I also believe that if you, if I don't go to church, life is so difficult. We need to fear Him because He is really the Almighty. To me, in my perspective, I believe that uh, uh, the Lord God is the one who created us and He is also the one who knows what is good for us. So that's the reason why He had His commandments written in the Bible so that all people will obey. Because you will perish if you do not obey the doctrines or the, the commandments of God. The Word of God says, All things come alike to all. There's one event to the righteous and to the wicked, to the good and to the clean, and to the unclean, to him that sacrifices and to him that sacrifices not. As is the good, so is the sinner. And he that sweareth, as he that feareth an oath. So the word of God says that all things come alike to all. The word come alike to all, they're the same. What is happening is that... Uh, there is one event to the righteous and to the wicked, to the good and to the clean, and to the unclean, to him that sacrifices and to him that sacrifices not. As is the good, so is the sinner, and he that sweareth, as he that feareth an oath. You know, brother, in the world, because we are in a world that is uh, we are in a world where we, there's no one to where there's nowhere to go somewhere else so what happens to the righteous also happens to the wicked what happens to the good one also happens to those who are evil same thing that happens to all men. Um, 
mga bagay na hindi pangkaraniwan. No? Karaniwan well, um, for some things that are extraordinary or uncommon, because for example, to be hungry is common to both evil and good. Not because you're good, you will not be hungry anymore. Lazarus was a very uh, righteous person, but he was a beggar. There were also evil people. Well, good ones get sick, even the, the evil ones, they get sick as well. What happened to you may happen to anyone as well. You lose your job. There are good people losing their job. There are evil ones losing their job. The good ones get sick. The evil ones get sick as well. That's what happens to the life of men on earth. The difference is for us to know God. And the best thing to do is to recognize God. Is it? it is written in the book of Malachi chapter 3 verse 18. This is what we will read. Then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth God and him that serveth him not. There's also a difference in a sense. If you return, we return to God, we will recognize or know what or discern good and evil. He who serves God and he who does not, there is a difference. If you are a righteous person and you are serving God, you have the desire to obey God. There is a difference that may happen to your life because to a servant of God, God has reserved mercy, uh, forgiveness, and help. He has uh, protection for a servant of God. In the book of Psalms, chapter 34, verse 7, the angel of the Lord encamps round about them that fear him and delivers them. You see, those who feel God, who fear God, who uh, who um, serve Him, God has care and protection from them. The angel of the Lord encamps round about those who fear Him and delivers them. You know, there are things that God can do favorable to a person who fears Him. If we fear God, we have a guardian angel that will deliver us from evil. If we fear God, the Bible has a promise that there is no evil that will befall us. Let us read that in Proverbs 19, verse 23. The fear of the Lord tendeth to life and he that has it shall abide satisfied he shall not be visited with evil he who fears God will not be visited by evil let's fear God if we have fear of God or if we fear God God can prohibit the evil to visit you and if we say that fear of God is keeping His commandments, as it is written in chapter 12, verse 13 of Ecclesiastes, let us hear the conclusion of the matter, of the whole matter, fear God and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Now, what are the doctrines or the commandments that you should obey? That is what we are inviting you for to study according to what uh, the Holy Scriptures um, say in 1437 of his writings to the Corinthians. If any man thinks himself to be a prophet, or spiritual, let him acknowledge that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord. 
mga utos ng Panginoon what are na dapat naman natin the commandments written si naman pong na sa that we should obey because Christo, there are those that are being said that through Him bawat nananampalataya in the book of Acts ng mga bagay. all who believe will be justified in all things from which you could not be justified by the law of Moses. There is a law in the time of Christianism or there is a law that will not justify us and what are those laws written in the book of Galatians chapter 6 verse 2 that says, Bear ye one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. What are the laws of our Lord Jesus Christ or the doctrines that we should be able to follow so that we can show that we have fear of God? Because generally, we can say that the people who believe in God, we should obey God's commandments. But what laws of God are we going to obey? And what are these laws? Because we will not be able to do the laws if we do not know them. And therefore, we are inviting you, let us find out the many different, well, the doctrines of our Lord Jesus Christ that we ought to keep. If we love God or if we have fear of God, this coming January 2, please accommodate our request. God willing, that is Monday, 7 p.m., as we continue studying the doctrines of our Lord Jesus Christ from the Holy Scriptures. At this point, let us watch Story of Faith of one of our brethren in MCGI or the Members Church of God International who understood that um, obeying the laws of God will give him peace in heart and in mind. Lumakay ako sa pamilyang katoliko I grew up in a Catholic family. We went to church only every Sunday, feast day, New Year, and during my birthday. My husband, Brother Arnel Canlas, was listening to Brother Ellie, but while he was listening, he still could not quit drinking and smoking. The worst thing that happened was when he fell ill and had 50-50 chance to live. After he was discharged, he made a decision to look for the local to attend the indoctrination together with my son Jezreel Canlas. With the mercy and help of God, they were baptized. There I had seen the change in him. He quit his vices. And he further became a good father, loving to my family. That time, my sister asked me to work with her in Hong Kong. That time, my sister asked me. We rode jeepney for Brother Anil to take me to the airport. When we reached Pedro Hill, this is stick up. Good thing that my little child fell asleep on my chest. My shoulder bag was covered where my documents were, and also my pocket money. I snuck a look at the robber, but he barely glanced at us. Perhaps God made us look invisible to them. It made me think that my husband's religion was true, where there is a living God. So when I arrived at the airport, I burst into tears. When I entered the restroom, I had this realization that the church that my husband joined was true. Because we were not affected by the robbery that happened. I was staying with my sister. My job was easy because there were two of us, our day of or Sunday. We spent those days by hanging out in Hong Kong, going swimming in the beaches go to stores, bargain. But when I got home at night while resting, I could feel that something seemed to be missing. Well, let's go to the central district and watch the celebrities. I'll pass this time, sis, because I'll try to look for the local of the old path in Hong Kong. 
seriously you'll be joining Arnel in the old path? Yes, it's because I could feel something is missing in my life. Missing what? You already have everything, could buy what you like. I think that was God's calling for me. When I took the tram, I saw two women in Christian apparel, and so I approached them and inquired. They were ecstatic because prior to that, they were not used to taking the tram. But they wondered why that time they were drawn to take the tram. We arrived at the local of Hong Kong. I regularly attended. Every Sunday, I was able to finish three sessions of the indoctrination. I completed listening to the doctrines and was baptized there eventually. Till the last breath of my life. Nagkaroon din po ako ng tungkulin bilang... I also had the duty as a member of the GCOS and of the local choir of Hong Kong. That was also where I saw Brother Ellie face to face and he cooked fish in vinegar for the brethren in Hong Kong. And when I returned to the Philippines, with God's mercy and help, I joined the choir and also those in charge of counting the collections are local. And one time while we were counting in that local, in the local, there was an incident at our warehouse was on fire. I was already worried when a brother sent to me that our house was already burning but i prayed to god to keep just shirel jirel safe because he was the one at home during the fire incident and my fellow officers with me persuaded me not to go home because i might get hurt i did not know if it was a great challenge for me but the only thing i uttered that time i said father i leave everything in your hands I was not troubled because I hear the doctrine that Kuya is teaching not to be anxious. I just said, I'm leaving everything to you, our Lord. With the mercy and help of God, nothing happened to my son. And through the concerted efforts of the brotherhood and also my siblings and relatives, our house was rebuilt where we are staying now. Thanks be to God because all my children are members in the church and also my children-in-law. Thanks be to God for all His protection for us. I am Sister Bella Canlas and this is the story of my faith. A million thanks to God. At sa atin pong layunin naman na uh, maibandila ang pag And in our intention to um, proclaim love and doing good deeds, we conducted a social experiment. Let's watch the reaction of our fellow men. Do you have extra clothes? Because I don't have anything to change. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.
Thank you so much. It's okay now. Because he said he has no family, I would like to ask him to stay here. I really feel pity. I didn't know because my mama said someone's going to buy. But when he went out, he's looking for a, a clothes to give the child. Well, to me, whatever his plan is, as long as I do my part to help. I said I'm going to look for a uh, plastic because I am looking for something that will fit him. Whatever good you can do to help your fellow men, don't look about, don't think about yourself. Look about, think about tomorrow. First, long as we can do good to our fellow men. Well, we can give if there's something we can because it's really pitiful. Take it, take yourself as an example. What if you lose? You will also ask from your fellow men. It's so nice to give. So I said, if God wills that, I also would like to share. It really feels nice in the heart to be able to help. If you give, it should be from the heart. I have many uh, old clothes, but why will I give old ones? If you will give, give the best. Give the new one. Um, hello? Do you have extra clothes? Those that are not being used? None? It's okay, thank you. Even the old ones? Because my parents have thrown me away, I would like to go back, but I have no clothes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, because I pity him. Well, there are those who really pass here and ask. And if I have, I will I give them. I hope if that happens again, I hope they will give if they have something to donate. Um, hello? Is there anyone tending here? Who is the owner of this place? So they're sleeping? I would like to ask for extra clothes, even the old ones. Thank you so much. Because I pity him. Because that's how that's what we do if some passing here. I also have pity because many are coming here, so we give them. Give them even a little help, whatever they can do. Even in a little way, because one time we may be in that situation. I hope they will also give because there are others who are like no read, no write. 
It's difficult for them to live every day, even those with disabilities. So they really have to give whatever they can. You give, you gave clothes to someone who has no clothes. When you extend your hand, your heart, and your love, that is giving yourself, offering yourself as a sacrifice to God. And that is what the Bible calls a spiritual worship. It's a spiritual worship. Spiritual worship before God is offering yourself to serve our fellow men. That you will be an instrument of God's kindness unto men. Like what Job did and the other servants of God. What they did was that they care for their fellow men. They love their fellow men. That is in the Bible. The spiritual service to God is to give your, the part of your body, your, your, your hands. The poor one has no clothes. Give your hands and your heart to give him a food when he's hungry, clothes when he's naked. That is what the Bible calls spiritual worship. At sa pagkakataong ito, kasama po ang ating at this point, together with our brethren at the MCGI or the Members Church of God International, some are in the virtual audience, some are with us in Cabarugues, Quirino, together with Brother Joshua Antonio, to find out what way we can be of help through MCGI to reach the kind of, for the kindness of God to reach our fellow. So, Brother Joshua, good evening to you there in Cabarugues, Quirino. Yes, po, kuya, na imbag na rabii. Yes, kuya, good evening. And love and peace of love. Is our greeting to you, together with our brethren in the Church of God International. Tonight, we are in Cabarugis, in Quirino. We're in, at around 2 p.m., we had a, a short program for our fellow men in Barangay del Pilar wherein we uh, donated a little help. Around 50 were the beneficiaries of grocery items. And apart from that, together with our brethren in preparing for our free um, feeding program for our fellow. We'd like to acknowledge some officers of Del Pilar, the treasurer of Barangay, Mr. Mar Mrs. Marjorie, the secretary, the Barangay Indigenous People Mandatory Representative, and the uh, youth sector chairman, Mr. Uh, Johnny Manuel. And with us now is the Barangay chairman, the village chairman of Del Pilar, Chairman Nado. Good evening. We have a translator, Kuya, so we can um, fully understand what our chairman wants to tell us. The 50 residents in Del Pilar that were in to whom we gave uh, grocery items. Uh, well, they are the poor in the barangay, the poor families in the barangay. What are the primary um, livelihood of the residents in the barangay? They farm, they plant rice and bananas. 
and also making charcoals. What, how many residents and what are the programs that the barangay can give for our fellow men? It depends. It depends on what will come from the provincial government that will be distributed to those who are in need. Do we have programs, Chairman, from Barangay for them? At the present, they don't have funds in the barangay, for which reason they don't have any uh, activities. Rice and uh, canned goods from the provinces and municipalities. And for provincial government. And tonight, Kuya, we also have learned that uh, since the barangay officials came to the uh, our MCGI local, wherein they requested from us. What were your requests, Chairman? We requested from 10 tables. Why did you request for that, Chairman? We need it for, we need them for occasions. It's important if there's uh, occasions, there are occasions like weddings and uh, uh, wake. And Kuya, together with our brother in the Church of God International, from our barangay officials in Barangay del Pilar, your uh, simple wish will be granted by our brethren in the MCGI. There are here are ten tables for our uh, barangay officials. Is this fine, Chairman? Yes, thank you. We hope that God willing you'll be able to use this if you have uh, programs that you are conducting in your place. Because when we went there earlier, Kuya, at the center of Kabarugis, there are 22, well, like 20 to 30 minutes together with our brethren from the MCGI wherein we went earlier to and conducted a little program to be able to give a little help uh, to those we call the poorest of the poor. Thanks be to God because although the program of the MCGI are, be, are located in far places, our brethren in different places serve as instruments of God's kindness. God willing, this will continue. Here are our brethren. Please come in. They are with us, Kuya, who prepared the food for almost 100 persons in Barangay del Pilar. They woke up early to prepare a little help for our brethren there. There's something they want to say. Back to you, Kuya. Thanks be to God. Thank you so much. And uh, our chairman of the Barangay del Pilar in Kabarugis Quirino. And also thank you to Chairman Nardo and all the barangay officials for give, giving us the opportunity to be God's humble instruments for his kindness to reach you. You can trust that with God's help and mercy, we are with you in whatever good thing and in whatever way we can be of help. MCGI has chapters in your place and all over the world. Just knock in our coordinating centers, whatever we can afford, will you, may you um, 
Bear with us. God's help and mercy. To all the brethren who are with us today, we thank you so much for your participation, even those in the Zoom. And um, remember, they are the members, the brethren in the members, Church of God International. We thank you all, including those in the other parts of the world. Keep on caring, keep on shining. Thank you so much. To God belong all glory and honor forever. And also, um, a, a, a humble community in Occidental Mindoro, which with God's help and mercy, we reach together with the brethren in the MCGI or the MCGI Law Center for to help to for our uh, brethren to help them in their difficulties that we're going that they're going through because MCGI cares. Sometimes our food is just banana, but that's okay with God's help and mercy, and thanks be to God. We are grateful first to God and to those who tirelessly help here in Sicho Tamisan. Only the MCGI is like this. There's no other congregation like this. To be honest, the only group that comes here to help us is the MCGI. As of the moment, they are here to provide us with relief items. Of course, there is a lightness in our hearts for us to see brothers and sisters. The MCGI is here to help and to give them food sufficient for their daily needs. I used to just watch this on television, but now I'm already able to partake in good deeds. To the youth like me, please do not be weary in um, church activities because this bring pleasure to God. Rain or shine, church activities will carry on. Every opportunity that we have that is given to us by God, let us realize that that is given to us by God. 
we should grab the opportunity to do righteousness because that is the sign of our salvation. At muli po, bago kami pansamatalang magpaalam. And once again, before we uh, temporarily part ways, we are inviting you for our mass indoctrination on January 2, 2023, Monday, 7 p.m. And whatever part of the world that you will see a coordinating center of the MCGI, whatever it is that we can do to serve you, whatever your religion, your language, your nationality, if there's anything we can do to serve you, the, the doors of our coordinating centers are open. And we are ready that with God's help to serve you with what we can and to be God's humble instruments for the kindness of God to reach our MCGI channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. We have many different uh, things that we can watch from which we will learn the righteousness of the Holy Scriptures. And if there's anything we can do to help you through our MCGI digital clinic, we have our doctors who can answer you and give you advice if you have problems with your health. That's open 24-7. There's no payment. It's just free, whatever it is we can do to serve you through our brethren or doctors for us to be advised what we ought to do concerning our problems in health. On that note, once again, we're thanking the Lord for another good opportunity that's given to us. Also, to our brethren in MCGI, some of them are in our virtual audience of the Members Church of God International in Quirino and those who are with us in uh, Barangay del Pilar in Quirino province. We thank you once again for being with us and to all the brethren in different parts of the world. Once again, keep on carrying and keep on shining. And it will remain that all glory and honor belong to God forever. On that note, we are leaving to you a song expressing that God is our strong tower in life. In his rendition of the song, the hope of the heart here is Brother Archie Rain Angad. Thanks be to God. To God belong all glory and honor forever. Mabuti ka nga anak. Tanong, masaya ka ba? Maglan ka naman ng panahon para sarili mo. Huwag yung puro pamilya. Alam mo, pre? You know, man, Bawa tao, every person has his definition. own definition what, what, of what kanila. makes him happy. Kaya, kung ako mo, so if you ask me ko lang ko, just to see my family happy, and most of all to be able to obey the law of God, that's what makes me happy. Pagkatao'y sugatan, ikaw ang palaging 
Laman itong isipan sa bawat sandali Ang ikaw 